Well, we're very delighted, and we have a very special guest for you today here for CloudForce New York. Would you please welcome Chris Bruzzo, the Chief Technology Officer of Starbucks. Welcome, Chris Bruzzo. Thanks, Mark. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Mark. Very exciting and uh, glad to have you. We got the drinks right here, by I the way. See that. Yeah, thank you for that. And yeah. uh, you know, I was and just this one's using, not quite uh, big enough. I think we need a larger size. For we you. do, yeah. we do. And uh, you know, I have one of these great little uh, sticks. I uh, have heard some great stories about. Can, can you tell us the story <coughs> of this stick? Sure. That's a, um, that's an example of a customer innovation. You know, this is something that uh, uh, is a problem when you're carrying Starbucks cups around and they tend to through those little uh, vents at the top tend to spill. And uh, we discovered this actually in Japan. Customers started telling us about it. By the way, my Starbucks idea celebrated its one year anniversary last week. Oh, fantastic, congratulations. 65,000 ideas from customers just like this one. And, um, and so we implemented this idea based on listening to customers and, uh, and now we, we, we have it everywhere in the world. That's great. So a year ago we put a site up uh, with Chris uh, called uh, My Starbucks Idea. How many people here have actually logged into My Starbucks Idea and checked it out? Yeah, good. So uh, <laughs> it's a great opportunity. You can get on to My Starbucks Idea. It's a direct channel to Chris. Yeah. You can put your ideas on, on what things you think Chris should be doing for Starbucks, new kind of foods, the way he should be organized in his cafes a green stick to put into uh, the drink so the drink doesn't spill. And then other customers come along and prioritize up and down your idea, collaborate with you, and then Chris sees the results in analytics and so forth through our ideas app and through our service uh, cloud portal. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a great success. Uh, and uh, uh, we, it's just about a year old now. Uh, we've implemented 25 different ideas uh, off that side, about two a month. Um, uh, including all kinds of things from food options to Wi-Fi solutions to Starbucks card programs. One of the things I said when we launched it was, uh, I personally said we would only allow upvotes. We would only allow positive votes. And the customers came at us on my Starbucks idea and said, no, after over time, 65,000 ideas, we want to be able to separate some and push them down. Fantastic. And so I've had to say, okay. <laughs> and uh, the customers have spoken and now we have the ability to vote an idea down or up on the site. So we've done all kinds of great things, 65,000 ideas, uh, um, you know, over uh, 658,000 votes uh, on the site. So. Yeah, well, I, I know that you uh, profiled it also last week at the shareholders yeah. meeting, so it's exciting. Yeah, it's great. So now, Chris, we had that great success over the last year, and uh, then in January you came along and you, you had another great idea, another great app transform Starbucks with? Yeah, well, we have, you know, these 10,000 locations all over the U.S., and, uh, and we had this great success on Election Day where we invited people to come in and celebrate having voted, and we'd give them a free cup of coffee, and so come January, uh, late December, actually, we said, let's do that again. Around the inauguration week, let's see if we can raise a million hours of volunteer service from Americans who are coming into Starbucks stores, and uh, if they raise their hand and say that they'd pledge five hours to volunteer, we'd give them a free cup of coffee. So, well, that's not good enough. We need not only 10,000 locations, we need everybody online. So we have a huge, we have over a million people in our Facebook community. We have over 90,000 people following us on Twitter. So we said, we've got to open it up to those guys as well. Uh, and better yet, let's integrate the data from the point of sale for every customer that raises their hand in our stores with the data that we get off Facebook and Starbucks.com and everything else that we do online. And let's have a real-time ticker at the top that just shows how many hours we've been collecting from all of those sources um, of volunteerism. Uh, and we said, you know, really, we have to launch it not only in our own site, but we've got to be able to launch it on Facebook. And then Oprah came along and said, you know, we ought to feature this while we're live in DC during the inauguration week. We said, we should do that too. So all of that was happening about the end of, uh, end of December. So we turned uh, to... Now the uh, end of December, I mean, you only the had The inauguration like was 20 days away. 20 yeah. days? Yeah. So that was yeah. your development process? All right, we had a 21-day development cycle. A scalable cycle. app, reliable, <laughs> secure, but it has to have this great user experience. Well, what we said is it has to work. Sure. It has to scale regardless of what right. happens on Oprah or anywhere else. And we have to be able to get it to the market in 21 days. Right. And it has cool. to look fantastic. You, you have a lot of IT professionals and uh, customer folks who are here. Yeah. And they, I'm sure they can relate to, I mean, this is a troubling uh, economy we have in, but it doesn't mean we can't still have and need innovation that's right. more, than, more than ever before. But 20 days, that, that's not a lot of time to write and deliver a complete app. So, uh, so we had to, a we, good story here. Well, we had to turn to, we had to, turn to force.com, and we turned to Narendra, actually, and we said, build it on this database that we already have with my Starbucks idea. Build it on this platform that allows us to quickly get to market. Build it in a way that allows us to integrate Facebook and Starbucks.com and everything into it. And um, this is, this is what he did. Fantastic. Well, Narendra, Switch the demo. tell us about that. 
So when Chris first called, I asked him if he meant this inauguration or next. I wasn't <laughs> sure. I was like, it's a little early to be planning. Um, and the fact is, is that there was a great concept in place on how to tie together um, a historic moment in the country with the, the tie to service. But it wasn't that we had a website designed ready and said, look, let's go build this. The process between the Starbucks team and the Aperio team to actually go create this was very iterative. Day in and day out, we were kind of evolving what we were at. So this is the site. And you can see the main part of the site is to get people to actually say that they're in, to commit to service. So this is very much mimicking the store experience um, that you had during that week of inauguration. And people could download a pledge card, get a badge, and during the week, they could actually even get their, their certificate and badge. Um, they also highlighted a number of different actions. So there was a few things that they said, these are things that almost anyone in any community can do. So they went through and loaded the system with some of these core national service partners that they could rely on. And also, we relied on social media. Like, we were able to add stuff to Facebook, or we could actually share, um, whether it be to Twitter or uh, different aspects to get the social media piece inside of that as well. And then finally, the most important part was how do we connect people to an opportunity very quickly? Allow me to go and search in my neighborhood for something that can actually um, allow me to give back some of that time to actually use that. So we were able to integrate with Hands-On Network, who had about 80,000 opportunities. And in the process of just these few weeks, we were able to load and connect to their reservoir of volunteer opportunities to be able to pull things in so people always have relevant things to look at. So this was all created on top of the Salesforce platform, literally in days. Now, now you, you say that, you say it's on the Salesforce platform, but I'm looking at the URL and it's live and you keep going to Starbucks.com, so how, how can that be? All right, so Mark, I'm going to switch over to the sandbox because I know that you have to see it to believe it. So I'm going to go to the sandbox because Chris wouldn't be too happy if I change his production site on stage. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to his sandbox. And that's one of the great features of Salesforce. Being able to provision a sandbox is really something that just takes a few instances. So this is now the development environment. And you can see the, c the code looks like HTML and JavaScript and kind of standard web technology. So this is the code that you wrote to generate that screen. This is the code that the Aperio team wrote to, oh, to right. generate this. But, um, <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> that so I'm going to actually make a couple changes here just so we can see that this is indeed Salesforce. So when I go and change the header to true, it takes the default tabs that are part of Salesforce, and it says actually show those. So now this is probably not the design that Chris would have preferred, so, but right. you can that, see that all the tabs. That does not look like a very compelling website uh, for a consumer. <laughs> I think Parker is hurt, but I would, I would tend to agree with you. But you can see all the objects that are part of this application in place. And this is what we built the core of the system on. And we so what happens if you click on like volunteer uh, opportunities? So if I click on volunteer opportunities, what will happen is I'll load that in a separate tab, is you'll actually see some of the opportunities that we have in the system. So let me go through. Remember when I did that So this search. is like a full Salesforce app behind this website, but That's it's right. all integrated. It's That's all right. seamlessly integrated. It's all the same opportunities that I was searching for. And this allowed on the back end for people to go through and make sure. changes and look at the system and run analytics and reports. So very powerful to be able to do that um, so quickly. Now, Narinder, he's going to.